All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, advanced preferences in FC3 and how to access them and how just some ideas on how I think you can work with them. OK, so anywhere in manual mode, Gaussian, surface or median, if you were to right click any one of these blurring operator names, we'll do median first. You right click it, we get a bunch of median preferences. Let's walk you through them. First of all, we can rename the layer that gets output anything we want. Of course, the default is FC3 FreakSep, hearkening back to FreakSep Control version 1 and 2. Um, we can also make it the default. We tap that if we want, and we can make it the default. Um, it currently is the default, which is why I can't click on it. And if I go to the other ones in a minute, and choose default there, then that'll override it, okay? But now we have show dialog, which means that the median radius that we choose initially will also pop up while we're working. For example, let's go ahead and leave that on and we'll hit six and we'll hit play. There we go. Now this classic median dialogue pops up. It seems like it's redundant, but it's not. This could be like an anticipation preview. In case you're looking for something very specific, you still get Photoshop's dialogue popping up so you can make a change right now instead of six you can quickly change it to 10 if you're not getting the result you want hit okay it'll finish processing it and now you're at 10. that's again just a choice it's sort of like in advance preview let's go back right click median okay i usually turn that off we have clip high layer we'll show you that um very common in frequency separation setup so let's go ahead and hit play and what this does is it copies the high layer and clips it down. This is so you can do healing on it and whatnot, but you can also have a fail safe. So you can kind of, you know, either delete that layer if you completely mess up, or you can even change the opacity of it and really tailor your healing exactly like you want. Pretty common. Um, and you can turn that on and off as you like. Go ahead, delete the stack again. Let's right click back to median. We also have apply median two times, which is a pretty common process that a lot of people who prefer median will do just to kind of get it a little bit smoother. Uh, it's really kind of invisible. You don't really notice it. So when you hit play, it'll run its process. But the end result is if you click on the low layer that let me go ahead and zoom in as you can see it's just a little bit smoother you can experiment back and forth if you've never heard of running median twice well take a look at that you can find that everywhere on youtube people talk about why they might do it in general it just creates a little bit more of a separation sort of seamlessness that some people prefer let's turn off the low layer and delete that stack and let's go back to our preferences right click median okay we also have add subject mask this increases the processing time but if for some reason that's what you want to do like if i was going to do a lot of frequency separation work on her shoulders and neck and whatnot this could be useful for me let's hit play okay so now it's done so let's say for example even on a black and white image if i were to come here i'm going to overdo this but if i were to come here and paint on her arm you know, with my stylus, there we go. As you can see, we already have the, I mean, I'm overdoing it. I'm not doing it right here, but you can see that we have a subject mask. If we hold down alter option, we can see the mask. It's Photoshop subject mask, just an option that you can have on or off depending on your workflow. Let's go ahead and delete that. And once again, right click median to go back to the preferences. Okay, we have a default radius in case you just have one go to that you always like. Every time you click on media and hit play, it'll do that by default, apart from the presets, which is another video. Make sure you watch that. We also have what happens after the layer stack is created. Do you want to select transitions, the entire group, high or low? That's pretty cool. I usually use transitions myself. You can choose the brush tool, clone stamp tool, healing, pretty common options that people use depending on their frequency separation workflow. You can tell FC3 to please use that tool every single time it finishes the layer stack on medium and then of course tool presets if you use them i don't use them a whole whole lot but i know people who do and if you do use tool presets you can pick one here depending on the tool that you want okay so let's go put that somewhere like a five and go back now if we were to right click surface we have all the similar options except we don't have run twice obviously but we have subject mask but we have the default radius and the default threshold because of course surface blur has those two parameters everything else is basically the same here again i can hit default and now that one locks in and that's now the default overriding medium okay and just to be thorough let's right click gaussian and we can make that the default if we want and we have all the other options like i said before that we can toggle on and off while we're working and we just leave it at whatever settings we like um, in, in case you find what you prefer, you always have it there to lock it in. I'm going to go ahead back to my median, right click and make that my default because that's the one I prefer. And those are some of the more advanced preferences that you don't have to use, but they make FC3 a lot more flexible and powerful and really tailored to a workflow. The entire point here is not necessarily to reinvent the frequency separation process, but to make it extremely efficient, 
flexible and dynamic. And that's going to give you power and control in your workflow that you have never experienced before.